Hi everybody, this is Jenny from By Jenny Designs and today I'm going to be showing you how to work up my men's basic beanie with options. You can make this pattern in three different ways. You can choose to do just the basic beanie here or you can do the option with the folded up edge or you can do a slouchy option. I'm going to be working up this one here on camera but I will be telling you the changes to do both of these as well. Okay, so for this pattern, you're going to need a medium weight yarn. I'm going to be using this stone wash from I Love This Yarn. And this color is steel gray. You're going to need about 175 to 240 yards, depending on which option you choose. And then you're also going to need a size H or a five millimeter crochet hook, a pair of scissors, and a darning needle. And then another option, if you can't get a hold of this yarn or you just don't like it, you can use Vanna's Choice. That's a really nice option for this pattern as well. Okay, I'm gonna get this all cleared out and then we will get started. Okay, to start this pattern, you need to make a magic circle. And then chain one and work 11 half double crochet into your circle. I have my 11 so now you need to pull your circle tight and join with a slip stitch to your very first half double crochet here chain one and now for row two you're going to work two half double crochet into each stitch around done. Okay, here's my last one. And now join to your first half double crochet with a slip stitch. And your stitch count for this row should be 22 if you want to check it. Okay, for row 3, chain 1. And then we're going to work 2 half double crochet into the first stitch. And then 1 half double crochet into the next stitch. And we're going to repeat this all the way around. So that again is two half double crochet and then one half double crochet. Go ahead and work your way around and I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. Okay, I've just got my last half double crochet here of row 
three. So now every row you're going to just be joining with a slip stitch at the end to your first half double crochet. So go ahead and join. And then your stitch count for row three should be 33. And before we move on, we're just gonna take a quick measurement so that you can make sure that you're on gauge. Okay. So your measurement here should be just between the two and a quarter and two and a half mark there. And it doesn't have to be exact. You can be a little bit larger, a little bit smaller. We're going to take another measurement after row nine. Okay, so for row four, we're going to just half double crochet into each stitch around. Go ahead and work your way around, and then I will meet up with you at the end of row four here. Okay, so I'm just finishing up row four. Your stitch count for row four should be 33. Go ahead and join. And now chain one for row five. And now for row five, we're gonna work two half double crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet in two. And we're going to repeat this around. So that again is two half double crochet. And then one half double crochet into the next two stitches. Continue to repeat that all the way around and then I'll meet up with you at the end of the row. Just finishing up row five here. Going to join. And now your stitch count for row five should be 44. And now for row six, we're going to chain one and we're just going to half double crochet into each stitch around. So you can go ahead and work your way around and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, so I'm at the end of row six now. I'm going to join. And now your stitch count for row six should be 44. For row seven, we're gonna chain one. And then we're gonna work two half double crochet into the first stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet into the next three stitches. And we're going to be repeating this all the way around. So that's two half double crochet. And then one half double crochet into the next three. Go ahead and work your way around and I'll see you at the end of the row. Okay, I'm finishing up row seven. For this row, you should have 55 stitches. Now I'm going to join. Now for row eight, we're gonna chain one and we're just going to half double crochet into each stitch around. Work your way around and then meet back with me at the end of the row. Okay, I'm just working my last stitch of row eight. For this row, you should have 55 half double crochet. For row nine, chain one. Then we're gonna work two half double crochet into the first stitch. And then we're gonna work one half double crochet into the next four stitches. Two, three, and four. And we're going to repeat this around. So that again is two half double crochet, and then one half double crochet into the next four. 
go ahead and work your way around and I will see you at the end of the row. Okay, I'm just finishing up row nine. For this row, your stitch count should be 66. I'm just going to join and then I'm going to give you another measurement here. And now when you take this measurement, you want to make sure your circle is pulled tight. I forgot to mention that before. Let me just measure across the center. You should have about six inches. Okay, so for row 10, we're gonna, we have a chain one here. And then we're just going to half double crochet into each stitch around. Go ahead and work your way around. Okay, I'm finishing up row 10 here. You should have 66 stitches. I'm gonna join. And now row 11 is going to be our last increase row. So chain one. And now we're going to half double crochet into the first nine stitches. So one, two, three, seven, eight, and nine. And now we're, after you have your nine, go ahead and work two half double crochet into the next stitch. And then we're going to half double crochet into six. So one, two, three, four, five and six and then we're going to work two half double crochet into the next stitch and this is what we're going to be repeating not the nine but our repeat is going to be half double crochet into six and then two half double crochet into next so that again is half double crochet into six stitches four, five, six, and then two half double crochet in the next stitch. Go ahead and continue to repeat that around and I will meet up with you at the end of the row. I'm finishing up row 11 here and you should be ending this row with two half double crochet in the last stitch. Go ahead and join. And now your stitch count for row 11 should be 75. And like I said before, this is our last increase row. So now for row 12, we're just going to be half double crocheting into each stitch around. And now this is where you will make your changes for the different styles of hats. If you want to make the beanie, go ahead and repeat row 12, which is just half double crocheting into each stitch. Repeat that for 25 rows total. If you want to make the slouchy beanie, go ahead and work that for 38 to 40 rows. That just kind of depends on how slouchy you want your hat to be. And then for the folded edge, which is what I'm working up here, I'm going to be working for 33 rows. After you've completed those rows, go ahead and come back here and I will tell you how to finish up each option. Um, so that again for row 12 is half double crochet into each stitch. And then repeat that for your desired amount of rows. I'll put a, up a graphic and um, then you can find this place easier when you come back to the pattern here. So I'll go ahead and put that up right now.
Okay, welcome back everybody. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to finish up each version of the hat. We're going to start with the basic beanie. For the basic beanie, you're just going to chain one and then you're going to single crochet into each stitch around. And then when you get to the end, you're just going to join with a slip stitch and you can fasten off and sew in your ends. And now for the slouchy version, you're going to chain one and then you're going to single crochet into each stitch around. And the only difference from the basic beanie is you're going to work two rows of single crochet. So work your first row, join, and then work a second row of single crochet and then join and then you can fasten off and sew in your ends. And now for the version I'm working on with the folded edge, you're going to chain one, which I have here, and then you're going to turn. And now we're just going to single crochet into each stitch around. And at the end, we will be joining with a slip stitch. Go ahead and work your way around. And then when we get to the end of the row, I will show you how I sew in my ends and we'll turn the hat right side out. Okay, I'm just working my last single crochet. Sometimes the spot can be difficult to see where you're supposed to crochet because your chain one is worked in this space, but this is where you should be placing your last single crochet of the row and then go ahead and join to your first single crochet. And now you can fasten off. And I was really lucky I didn't have any breaks in the yarn or knots, so I just have these two ends to sew in. So before you sew in this end, make sure you pull your circle nice and tight. And then just work your way around in the circle. And now I go back and forth three times, so now I'm going to go the opposite direction. And then back one more time. And then we can cut that end. And then we just need to do this end here. And I'm sewing these in on the wrong side. Our right side is still on the inside. So just do the same thing, work back and forth three times. Make sure you don't pull too tight to and create a, a hole. And then you can cut your end and you can turn your hat right side out. And then for this hat, you're going to just fold this up a couple inches here. And this is why I turn for the last row so that it looks really nice, the finished row there, or the finished edge. So there you have it. Thanks so much for crocheting along with me. I will see you again very soon. I'm going to go ahead and get a couple um, shots of each style of hat on a mannequin for you. Here we have the basic beanie. 
And the color that I used here is from I Love This Yarn brand, and it's called Cory Days. This is the folded edge version here. And the color I used for this one is called Desert Dust, and this is the I Love This Yarn brand. This color actually goes really well with all those Carhartt jackets that everybody loves. So I have a feeling I'm going to be making a couple more of these for my boys. Okay, last but not least, here is the slouchy version. This is I Love This Yarn, and it's their stonewash line in dark gray. Thanks again, everybody, for watching along and crocheting with me.